Hi guys, today we're going to be making a simple jumping script with movement. If you have done that uh, simple jumping script video, you're on the right track. But if you aren't, here is a script for you. It's pretty simple. You should do it if you want. And I will give you the time to copy it. Okay, great. Now we can continue. Since we have the jumping, what about movement? Grab a green, green flag, click block, and grab a forever, and grab an if, and another if, and use the same thing, one key, right arrow pressed, and the same for the left arrow. Or if you want, you can do WASD. Or even both. But right now nothing happens. And now we need a if block. And don't forget, it needs to be an if-else block. And here I made the mistake. So now we have a script. So now let's use a change x by. This will be great because when <laughs> we, well, to our platformer, and we want it so that uh, the movement is realistic, and we don't want something super jagged because currently the movement is super jagged. Let's press, press the green flag and we fly off. Why is this happening? And now the script has stopped working. For no reason. Which is pretty weird. So we will need to make some revisions. If you have scratch add-ons, change it back quickly, and then we need to make another one, where if, um, uh, wait, we need a variable, make a speed x variable for this sprite only, and just grab this, and put it in. And if it's bigger than, say, 10, then set the variable to 10. And I'll uh, do the same as the ball block. Then We'll test it by changing speed x by 1, so we'll change it, and we get locked up at 10. Okay, great. But we cannot move. The cat flies off again. 
And I think this is happening because I right clicked. So if that happens, just in case, save your project. And then refresh the tab. This should fix the bug. But now, there are two scripts. And they're going the same direction. Our speed X is 11. This should be set to 0 at the start of the project. But now there's a problem! Scratchy is moving in the wrong direction. <sighs> Two little numbers will just move us the wrong way. And two high numbers will do it, but 0 0.5 is a perfect number. The scratch hat doesn't move at all. So now we need to make another script. Checking if speed x is lesser than negative 10. And we'll set it to negative 10. But here, the scripts are not working. So, we need different controls. For now, I'll do the left arrow and the right arrow. Look at our movement! But there is a problem when we let go, our speed gets kept. This is not supposed to happen. So we will make another if statement. If the left arrow key is not pressed. Then we will set our speed x to zero. And the same for our right arrow press. Now I'm giving that a test. Those scripts still run. So our uh, cat moves super slow. Which is not what we want. So, we need to fix this. We're trying to add um, to our real moving scripts. The moving system will stop working. Let's remove those and the system is working again. But it's still kind of broken. What if a Sunday Faust? So the scripts will be actually proper. Well, the other script, or the right arrow, will be running! So that'll make the check fail. So that's not good. So we need to make a variable left 
four all sprites. Um, right. Four all sprites. If you want, you can make it for this sprite only. And let's start coding it up. So we'll make another if statement for our speed statement if our variable left is not equal to one we're good to continue also we'll wait until it is not equal to one let's put it back in now we need to make it so if the left arrow key is pressed we will set left to one else we will set it to zero And we need to make it instead of it just, just slowing down erratically. We will make it slow down normally. Change speed x by naked by one. And repeat that. Point speed X So for the front we have jagged moving but for the back I don't have vocals move movement because it'll just Instantly go back. But you can see if I go to right, our speed X shows as 11, but for the negative, it will show 10. So we need to make this a 9. Same problem is happening, so let's set it to a 9 also. So now we have a pretty good walking screen. Now, but now there's a problem. The code is important. Important to our other one. So we need to make some changes. We will the left check, and we'll just grab our thing from the right checking script. So if not. If right equal to one, then we will activate our script. Else, wait until is that. Flat or repeat by speed x walk. 
I mean, you know, also sit right to zero. And when it's first, we will copy that. And just put it on the top. And so that right is pressed. So there is a problem. For right movie, it actually said it said it to zero, but for left, that doesn't trigger. So after that, we need to add a set speed x. Wait. The ground is calling me, but mm, now <laughs> if uh, mm, it has a weighted all the time it Remove that change speed X script, and now we need, and um, that's it for now. This classic platform will update this and make a better code. Okay, that's it for the day. Save your project, and if you have badly mm, put down blocks, clean up them and save it. And uh, running uh, 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 and running their thing, their name. Of the project and hide those unnecessary variables we created. And here we have made another project. Walking and jumping is available. This game is about to be awesome. When we finally do this crap. Classic scratch platformer. Okay, that's it for today. Bye.